Yo, yo, Spectre here, back at it with another video. Today, I'm gonna show you how to add stickers and decals to your 3D models in Blender. First things first, open up Blender. Here for this demonstration, I am gonna use my 3D object, which is a spaceman. And I'm gonna be adding some stickers on here in the front, the side, and then here in the backpack. And the first thing you gotta do is go over to edit and then go to preferences. And then here in this window, make sure to go to add-ons and then search for images as planes. And then make sure that this is checked on. And also you gotta make sure you have your stickers uh, saved in the folder somewhere. And here I have three, it's the NASA logos. And also you gotta make sure that they're PNG files, meaning that the background is either non-existent or just transparent in general. Now do shift A and then go to image and then you're gonna see this here images as planes and then go over to wherever you have your folder saved mine is on desktop and it is called NASA stickers and I'm gonna do this blue one first then go to import images as planes and here I have the move tool enabled and then just drag it over to the front and just align it now, in order to get it on the actual object, go over to your modifiers and then add a modifier and then do subdivision surface. And then here, go on simple. And then here, enter six. And then on the render as well, six. Then add another modifier, add the shrink wrap. And then here on the wrap method, select this and then go to a target normal project. And then here on the target, select the eyedropper tool and then select your object. Now it is going to look kind of weird at first. And here, all we got to do is adjust the offset. You can either just click on the arrow here on the right, or you can also input the numbers manually. And here, usually what works for me is adding a zero and then seeing which one looks best. And here you can kind of see that it's a little bit off. There's some uh, gap in between. So you have to see what works for you. And if you notice here, there's some blemishes going on. So that means that I'm very close to the perfection. So I'll add another one on the side and it's almost gone. I'll add a two instead. And that looks like it's perfect. And then here I can just start aligning it. Now it may not stick to the surface um, completely flush. And by what I mean is by this, if you go to the side, you know, this starts kind of warping a bit. So you kind of have to compromise on the stickers where you want to place them. And you can also make it either bigger or small by hitting S. Although this might also interfere with your offset. So you have to recalculate the offset itself. And something to note also is if you're going to be animating your 3D model in a very simple way, like for example, in the intro, I showed it, you know, spinning in a 360 way, you have to select your image and then shift select the object and then hit control and the letter P and then set parent to object. So now if you move your character, it moves along with it. And when you're done attaching your sticker, select the sticker then right click and then shade smooth and that way it smooths out any imperfections now i'm going to add the other stickers i'll do shift a and then go over to image images as planes and then i'll go to my desktop where i have that folder the nasa stickers i'll do the us flag and then import images as planes and then go over to their object properties and then here on the rotation you can start aligning it to the correct spot where you want it and this was going to be going on the arm here in the side and then i also want to do a tilt that way it's easier to flush together and then you can scale it down too and you have to kind of uh you know get that angle then go over here to your modifiers and then add the subdivision surface select simple and then enter six and then six as well on the render and then add another modifier and then do shrink wrap and make sure to change the wrap method over to target normal project. And then the target, select the dropper tool and then select 
your 3D object and then here do the same and turn the zeros and then try to figure out which one's the best fit for this angle here and it looks like 25 here at the very end was perfect and also make sure to shade smooth that way it looks much more cleaner then lastly select your sticker and then shift select with the object here and then do control p and then set parent to object And there you have it guys, that is how to add stickers and decals over to your 3D models in Blender. And if this has helped you out in any way, shape or form, please leave a like, comment and subscribe. Also, please make sure to follow me on my social medias, it is at spectre.3d. If you ever need any additional help, please feel free to hop on my Discord server. I do have the link in the description. Either me or anyone in the group can help you out with any questions. And as always, thanks for watching.